Welcome to the Healthy Happy Human Show. This is one of a kind. Hello everyone, welcome to a very exciting episode of the Healthy Happy Human Show. The Healthy Happy Human Show is here to help you attain physical, emotional and mental well-being. Hi everyone, welcome to a very exciting episode of the Healthy Happy Human Talk Show. Today, we are going to be speaking on physical fitness and we have a very special doctor here. My name is Dr. Panch and I'm your host for today. So we have Dr. Swaggy, very special, fine boy doctor. Please introduce yourself to Hello us. everyone, my name is Precious, Dr. Precious, and I'm really excited to be here with my colleague, Dr. Panch. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. So today, do you consider yourself to be a physically fit person? Not entirely, but I would say probably about 80%. I, okay. say, um, I think that's, that's fair enough. As in, you try? Yeah, I try my best. Okay, that's very interesting. That's right. good to know. So, um, what does it take for someone to be physically fit? Well, I think it takes, uh, first of all, determination and probably just making the choice that you want to be physically fit. Because a lot of people, they want to, but then they, they lack that motivation to just like take themselves out of the house to maybe just take a jog or to go to the gym or do something. So first of all, you need to be self-motivated or even if not self-motivated, maybe you have someone who motivates you to maybe want to work out. And I think it's a good place to start from, having someone who motivates you. Hmm. Okay, but the thing is that I feel or I know yeah. it's not very easy to, you know, carry yourself and be consistent. So how do you like apart from someone motivating you what's that thing that can really keep you to make that decision and keep to it well uh i mean for different it's different for different people mm -hmm. for me personally I, I personally do not need any special motivation for me it's like a, it's a way of life currently mm -hmm. but for other people i mean if they have tried to motivate themselves by themselves and it's not working i think you just have to Maybe let someone know who's going to hold you accountable, who's going to like yeah. call you. Okay, you like, need someone so to be accountable. It probably you need someone like me, right? Who <laughs> you just tell me like, okay, I want to be physically fit. So whenever I'm going to the gym or I'm just going out to like exercise, I could call you and say, okay, let's go together and then we just do things together. Okay. That's one of the reasons we have you on our show today. So Thank you can you. motivate some of us. Yeah, I'll motivate you. <laughs> All right. So, but how does um, physical fitness impact our health? How does being fit, yeah. you know? help you in terms of you being healthy well i think that that particular question is, is quite broad because it, it impacts in several ways but i would say i wouldn't say it's the most important right but i would say mm -hmm. one of the the ones that is quite known to a lot of people is uh, the cardiovascular health which is basically the heart right so the more you exercise your heart muscle gets stronger and that way it can pump like sufficient amount of blood and supply energy like oxygen to your like your muscles right so a lot of people, you find out that when they start like their physical fitness journey, at the, mm -hmm. at the beginning, they're usually tired and all of that stuff. You get tired you, easily. You get tired easily, right? But the more you do something, the more you get accustomed to it, right? So the heart is one thing. Then there are some people who have like uh, several medical conditions and just exercising really helps. Like people with diabetes, it, for it example. It can really help you to become healthier. To, yeah, to it, can make help you. To, it can help you to become healthier. And also it helps with like sleep. A lot of people complain of stress, which is like a very, very, very important problem in the society right now. So um, exercise is something that really helps with stress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's just logical that when you go out, you exercise, you get worn out, you get exhausted, right? When you get home, for example, me, if I get back home, I just fall asleep, right? So it really helps with stress as well. Okay. And it helps with like um, your mental health because there are a lot of people who... They do not feel confident in themselves, right? They are just not happy with themselves because they always stay at home and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But the moment you start going out, first of all, you get to meet other people. Then exercising gives you this happy feeling, right? Your brain starts releasing some endorphins and you just feel really nice about yourself. And from there, I mean, these are just like a few. Sorry, you say your brain starts releasing what? Endorphins. Okay, very <laughs> nice. So, thank you very much. So, yeah, bas basically that helps you with like feeling nice about yourself. Gives you a sweet feeling. Sweet. You already know. It gives you like, <laughs> makes you feel nice. Like, okay. Yeah. All right. So, for our viewers, we would like you to, you know, throw more light on what you mean by endorphins, yeah? Okay, so basically, right, in the body we have, our system is built in a way where due to certain circumstances, it releases like something we could call maybe like a secretion right mm -hmm. 
so it's like it's just like how when you feel sad your, your eye will just release tears right mm -hmm. so it's the same thing with the brain okay so when you're doing something you really like and you're enjoying it your brain just sort of like just releases this thing mm -hmm. and this and which is called endorphin right and then it makes you just feel nice about yourself that's very good so i would love me some you know, level of endorphin I'll, I'll try to search for some for you and <laughs> Let all right you. thank you very much there's okay. something that is very important you have highlighted a lot of positive things that can happen to a person if they make efforts and put in like a lot of efforts to be fit okay yeah. so now can you tell us some of the dangers of not being fit like what can be happening to ba you basically it's, a, it's as easy as saying it's the opposite of everything i've just said okay so the more you you do not um exercise Mm -hmm. your heart is not going to get stronger so you you just walk like a short distance and like you're really exhausted already so and people who have like certain health conditions they wouldn't get better people who do not feel good about themselves they're just in the same place they're not really doing anything to change okay. the situation and all of that stuff so basically it's just the opposite of everything i've said which is like the benefits of um being, being physically fit mm -hmm. all right thank you very much dr swaggy for thank being you. here today now, uh, being fit is a very serious business. Yeah, definitely. And I believe that it's not a very easy task to, you know, do. Otherwise, everybody will be, mm -hmm. you know, fit and all that. Yeah. So what's, like, other encouragements can you give, you know, what are the perks people who are fit enjoy yeah. that you like to share with I think, people? I think, okay, if, if we're going to say, let's keep, self-motivation aside and keep like having someone who holds you accountable mm -hmm. right i think doing something you like like a form of exercise that you like it could be walking it could be running it could be anything it could be even at home right so just mm -hmm. doing something and avoiding sedentary lifestyle sedentary lifestyle is a lifestyle whereby you're always just sitting maybe you're in the office you're still sitting you're driving you're sitting like there's really nothing making you really walk as little as it might be any mm -hmm. form of exercise right so people who are finding it difficult i think maybe a good way to start is to besides like i already mentioned besides someone holding you accountable and self-motivation you could mm -hmm. just think of something you like doing like for me I, I i like dancing so dancing is a way for me to really? to exercise right okay. but it's dancing but then it's still for me it's still like a form of exercise because it takes a lot of like movements and all of that stuff so some people it could be maybe walking it could it could be anything basically but something you like doing i think it's a it's a good step so you mean if i don't have time to go to the gym if i don't have money to pay for the gym i yeah. can still do something to help myself it's just that i'm putting on these clothes if not i would have showed you what to do you can Ooh. actually do whatever you want to do <laughs> all yeah. right maybe we'll get another video for you to show definitely us. definitely i'm put it out there for our people to sure. see there's a very interesting question i would love to throw your way okay so okay. let's assume that i for example want to lose weight okay yeah i seriously do want to lose weight mm -hmm. um can exercising a like alone be enough for me to do that for some people it can but for some people it won't okay so for some people it requires both dieting exercising and some other stuff right but the two most important i would say is dieting and exercising right like me me personally okay for me i'm not trying to lose weight me i'm trying to gain weight so i'm on the opposite side so i need okay. to eat like food that is that has like high calorie content same way the person who wants to like on the on the opposite side on the flip side there's somebody who wants to lose weight has to eat like food that is low in calorie content right so they have to like do what is called fasting like stay a period of time without eating right they have to do that as well then exercise and then they have to add that as well so these are just two of the most important things that you have to do when it comes to losing weight but it's more than just exercising for some people why for some people you have to go into dieting as well okay thank you very much thank dr you. precious we thank you. have learned a whole lot so i believe our session today has been very educative and i, I hope i hope it is <laughs> of course i really hope that 
I am going to be able to, you know, practice all we've learned today. I'll try. I'll try. To, I'll try my best to help you. <laughs> I'll, hold you I'll hold you accountable. All right, guys. Thank you very much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed our session today. We had a very nice time talking about physical fitness with Dr. Precious. Um, I believe that everyone is going to make a habit to be physically fit. I remain your very special host, Dr. Panch. And if you have any questions, please do also leave them in the comment section. Thank you for joining us today. Bye. Welcome to the Healthy Happy Human Show. This is one of a kind. Hello everyone. Welcome to a very exciting episode of the Healthy Happy Human Show. The Healthy Happy Human Show is here to help you attain physical, emotional and mental well-being.